I don't know, is that the noise of my brain short circuiting or am I gonna start losing my mind from nothing working at all? This is completely ridiculous. So, four in the morning, I am definitely losing my damn mind if I'm down here at four in the morning because I am out $3,000 in nonsense products. So, technically speaking, $2,100 in bullshit and $900 to send it over here from that godforsaken country we call China. And if I filmed this yesterday, I would definitely be banned on YouTube with the amount of racial slurs I would be using, but I've calmed down quite a bit and I'm being nice today. Uh, so in order to run Oregon Supplements and attempt to get it, well, get it back up and running because we've been out of product for six, seven months because of those two clowns capsule supplies and gridiron nutrition. Uh, I'm trying to do it myself. I order emu oil from China. It's the only real supplier of emu oil in China. And they send me $2,000 worth of not emu oil. Uh, so, so this scam hurts a bit more than the other two times. I believe the first time was when we bought the fitness equipment for $7,000, which ironically I'm gonna have to sell now <laughs> because <laughs> I'm, I'm broke and uh, when we got scammed by those two companies, if you didn't see it, we did a video on both of those two stories. Uh, me being scammed for the gym equipment and me being scammed out of my supplement manufacturing. I didn't lose physical money in either of those scenarios. The first time I overpaid, the second time, oh, I'm only out eight months of business revenue for my supplement company. God knows what that's worth. This time, they actually took the money out of my hands. Uh, so, uh, the company is Zio Chemical uh, in Guangzhou, China, Guangzhou, I don't know how the hell to say it, and it was through Alibaba, and the trade assurance, assurance, they basically said, oh, please provide proof it's not emu oil, I showed them the product I was sent, I showed them what emu oil was, which we'll do now, but the point is, do not do business <laughs> with Alibaba or any of these Chinese companies if you don't want to potentially get sent thousands of dollars of fake product and then have Alibaba side with the seller and it's completely ridiculous. They just close the case, no questions asked, and I'm out money apparently. So uh, let's just take a look at this stuff and then we'll talk about it some more. So we got seven of these, about 44 pounds each, 20 kilograms, over 300 pounds of this stuff. It came in Cardboard boxes like this, nightmare to open. Had to buy some shears. Zio Chemical says emu oil on it. 20 kg, date 9 20 2020, expiration, made in China, Guangzhou Zio Chemical Co. LTD. So, this is what real emu oil is supposed to look like. This is what I've been buying in smaller quantities at a higher price for Frankie's Naturals for a long time. You know, it's slightly yellow, it flows freely, has an animal scent to it. You know, it's, it's an animal fat. You can tell what an animal fat is, and the emu oil's more monounsaturated, so it flows a little freely. Now, I have no idea what this stuff is. It's white. It has the texture and smell of some type of, like, petroleum jelly chemical. Even if this was some type of farmed emu oil and it was more saturated, it would not have this smell, texture, or taste. It literally tastes like chemicals. This is clearly not emu oil. I don't know what this is. And for them to probably just throw the cheapest jelly they could find, send it via the cheapest shipping, the cheapest method possible, just to scam me out of, you know, $1,000, who knows? I, this is ridiculous. So this was initially ordered back in October. After about a month and a half of not hearing anything, I was like, did you guys ship this? What's going on? They said, oh, uh, the barrels were destroyed in transit. We have to resend it. I didn't buy that for one second. And then they sent this crap over. This crap arrives, I don't know, two or three weeks ago. I open it all up, look at it. I reached out to the company via Alibaba messages. I said, hey, this is not emu oil. I want to return this. They said, oh, this is emu oil. This is the right stuff. So then I, I opened a dispute around December 30th, I think and then went back and forth for a little bit, uploading the evidence, me showing the pictures and a video recording it. Uh, and Alibaba closed the case within a week, basically. Uh, they asked me to upload evidence. 
Uh, they went back to the seller. He said, it's emu oil. They told me to get a third party inspector that was hired by Alibaba. I responded to the message. I said, okay, I'll get a third party inspector with you guys. They said, oh, it might cost money that, you know, you're going to have to pay the cost of a third party inspector. It could be expensive. I said, okay, that's fine. I want a third party inspector. <laughs> then Alibaba comes back to me and says, oh, I'm sorry, Alibaba cannot provide a third party inspector. You have to get a third party inspector yourself. I'm like, okay, fine. I will get a third party inspector. And then they responded to me, closing the case saying, uh, you have failed to upload evidence from a third party inspector. Uh, we have closed this dispute. Uh, if you have any further issues or want to seek a resolution, please contact the seller for a refund. Complete nonsense bullshit. They, they even said in that conversation, oh, well, nothing in the contract states that the emu oil is supposed to be emu oil. I'm like, what the f are you fucking smoking, dude? Like, if you buy something, if you buy fucking emu oil in a transaction, it's supposed to be emu oil. You don't, that, that is the fucking contract. You don't need to write up a contract when you're buying a steak from a steakhouse. It's a fucking steak. These So I got, I'm out basically $3,000. The Alibaba U.S. office is located in San Mateo, California. I don't know if I could open a small claims case in San Mateo County, take a nice vacation to, uh, to California, and try to sue Alibaba for, what, three, $4,000 for my plane ticket for this nonsense. They're going to claim, oh, well, it's the seller in China. The company's based in China. It's not enough money for me to hire a Chinese lawyer. But what isn't that expensive compared to the amount of money I've been scammed is a plane ticket to that godforsaken town this laboratory's in. And I am very tempted to buy that $700 round trip plane ticket, go to this factory, and talk to someone over there. Well, I ideally, well, we know that's probably not going to happen, and it would probably be a waste of a plane ticket. That being said, you know, if it wasn't a different country that had more attractions, not, you know, China, I might be inclined to go over there and have a little vacation and have some fun with this. But uh, I don't know. Hopefully pu publishing this video does something. Uh, if you guys want to call them, uh, I'll pay you for the international coffee. Just, you know, send me an email with your PayPal and I'll pay you guys if you want to call up these pricks and talk to them. If you want to call up Alibaba and complain to them, it's just, I've gone through so much nonsense to try to provide high quality supplements for you guys at an affordable price through organ supplements. And, and for this to happen is, is complete. every step of the way, every step of the way, someone's trying to scam me, nothing's working out, no one wants to work with me. It's just completely ridiculous. And, and on top of that, I'm not making any money. My margin is so low. Something like this happens. I literally have to go sell my gym equipment now. This is, it's disgusting you know with fitness equipment empire i had to make that video for them to pay me back the broken piece of equipment they sent me which they did uh, and they never picked up the rest of the stuff which i have to call them back those two dirt bags gridiron nutrition and capsule supplies threatened they were going to sue me what for what for your you being a bunch of heads and not communicating with me or, or and just holding my money and not making my supplements and now i got to deal with this nonsense probably a bunch of elite secret society running these companies and they don't give about anyone. I don't know. Hopefully people see Alibaba, Zeo Chemical in the title, and they don't do business with any of these companies. You know, hopefully even if just two or three people see this, they go with a different company, they go with someone else, they don't have the same problem I had. I figured the Alibaba trade assurance would guarantee if something happened, but unfortunately, lesson learned. Uh, am I going to buy a plane ticket to China? Am I going to hire a Chinese lawyer. I don't know. The, the language barrier, the location, the amount of money. I, I don't really know what to do here. I, th I think my only real bet is to publish this YouTube video. Hopefully those Chinese pricks see this and then, uh, and then maybe they give me my money back or uh, you guys call them up. They see something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. That's the organ supplements update. So we'll see what happens over the next few weeks. Maybe I can get some replacement product somehow uh, that's reasonably affordable. But uh, thank you guys for joining me today. Um, you can go to zeochemical.com. I'll, uh, I'll put the number and the contact for both the Alibaba office and the Zeo Chemical office. If you guys could do me a favor, you got nothing to do today, just call them up. Tell them you're disappointed that you know, you've treated someone that's only trying to do good like this. And as I said, I'll pay you guys for your time for the phone call. 
if, if you need to pay international fees for, for the phone or whatever, uh, just let me know and I'll, uh, I'll send that via PayPal.